Hello, I am the Tulsa Astro Geek. I'm taking a look at the brand new update to the Seastar app. This is Android version 1.13, released December 17, 2023. As you can see, there are several new features added. I'm going to take a look. Start with the planetary mode. Look at the planetary mode ROI. Ooh. Zoom features. Okay, let's take a look. Let's go to Jupiter. Okay, it has found Jupiter. So let's take a look at uh, new planetary app features. Start with the 2x. Nice. Let's bring the brightness down. All right. We're already getting a Pretty nice look at Jupiter from this. Now I'm going to try the 4X. All right, I've got to say, for a smart telescope with a 250 millimeter focal length, uh, that is pretty impressive. Okay, so that's going to be the planetary ROI feature. ROI setting for uh, region of interest, and it's a way to basically choose a subset of a camera sensor. And instead of using the entire thing, you can crop it down to a portion of the sensor, uh, which, among other things, allows for a uh, higher capture rate um, in videos, which is important for planetary because. When you want to do planetary astrophotography, uh, you want to take a video, then use the video for what's called lucky imaging, where you run it through a software that takes the you know, 20, 30, 50, 80% uh, best frames from the video and then stacks those to give you a much sharper image of the planet. Uh, in this case, here's us using it to uh, as a crop and zoom factor uh, to give you a more detailed view of the planet. And hopefully it also carries over into the video to give you a higher frame rate um, to get better captures that way. Okay. And you can pinch the zoom with the uh, ROI zoom, although you can see that there are diminishing returns. But even so, you can see the three or four major uh, color bands on the planet Jupiter, which uh, is, I think is pretty impressive. Okay, and there is the enhanced exposure. So now, instead of being limited to 10 second exposures with the uh, S50 you can now choose 20 or even 30 second exposures, which is impressive given that this is a Altaz mount. Uh, I'm now going to, I'm gonna try 30 second exposures. And also there's the feature for getting the RTSP address. So that should give you a address that you can enter into a browser and pull a stream directly off the camera. Um, you know, you can feed it into uh, some sort of capture software. Um, or you feed it into a live stream, like a webcam. Um, any number of possible uses for that, which is pretty impressive. I'm going to go ahead and try out the new enhanced exposure on uh, M42.
All right, there is M42. I have to say, I really love M42 or the Great Orion Nebula. It's one of my absolute favorite astrophotography targets, and it's probably the very best beginner target. It's so easy to uh, photograph. Okay, I was afraid of that. Um, right now, M42 is high in the sky. It's a very high angle above the horizon. Uh, and I've noticed that the S50 has difficulty tracking uh, objects that are that high. You can see that, I mean, you can literally see the stars moving as I talk. So I will need to find a uh, different target to test the long exposure on right now. All right, let's try the Andromeda Galaxy M31. It's also a very good beginner target. Uh, even in this preview, you can see the bright core. Oh, now begin. Uh, all right, that's very impressive. Um, we're getting 30 second exposures with little or no uh, star trailing or just the slightest amount of star elongation. It looks like 20 seconds uh, exposures may be the sweet spot. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.